My name is Kirsten. I work at the Edgerton Public Library in the Arrowhead Library System, and I'm so glad you're logged on to watch this episode of our Library Shorts. Today, I'm going to show you three experiments that you can try at home to demonstrate a process called capillary action. You wanna say that with me? Capillary action. It has to do with the movement of liquids in things like plants. I've got a big plant in my sink today. So we should probably add some hand motions because it's about movement of water. So capillary action. All right, try it again. Capillary action. Great. Well, let's check it out, okay? I'm gonna show you three experiments and then I'll go back and explain how this works, okay? So why don't you watch me the first time and then after this short video, you can give it a try at home, okay? Our first experiment, we're going to take five toothpicks. I've got a box here, and I'm going to bend five toothpicks in the middle, and we wanna bend them, but not break them. And I'm gonna arrange them in the shape of a star. Okay, there's three. It's nice to have a few extra, just in case one breaks, because you want them to just be bent, okay? and put them in the shape of a star, just like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a drop or two of water, I'm gonna use my finger and see if I can drop that, and put it right in the middle. There we go. So this is our first experiment, and we're gonna let that just sit for a moment. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at our second experiment. I'm gonna take three small bowls of water. You could use a small cup or a bowl like this. And then I'm going to add some food coloring. I'm gonna put three different colors in. We'll see if I can do this without making a mess. Okay, I'll we'll have blue in that one. Let's put some red over here. Okay, and then we'll add some yellow. My box ran out of the green color, so we're gonna use these three colors today. You can use what you have at home. There we go. And then I'm going to take some paper towel and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm gonna fold it in half again and I'm going to cut it. I don't need this big a piece. Yeah. So I've got a little, little piece of paper towel and I'm gonna make something like that and put it between the two Bowls. There we go. There we go. So this is our third experiment. We're gonna let that sit, okay? Or our second, excuse me. And for our third experiment, we're gonna take a piece of celery. Now my celery was getting a little bit old in the refrigerator, but you might have something that's a bit fresher. And um, I'm gonna cut a piece like that, and I'm gonna get another cup or bowl with some water and some more food coloring. Let's see, let's use blue. And we're gonna put the celery in there. Okay. There we go, and we're gonna let this sit. Why don't we put that over there, okay? So we've got our star out of toothpicks, our food coloring with the paper towel, and our celery. Okay, but let's talk a little bit about capillary action before we explain what's going on with our experiments, okay? I've got this big plant here. And I think most of you would agree that plants need water to live. And when we think about plants needing water, we tend to think about it raining or us using a hose um, to give the plant a drink. But the plant has to move water from the soil um, and its roots all the way up to the top of the, of the leaves. And it does that by a process called, help me out, capillary action. That's right. There are forces inside the, um, inside the soil and inside the roots that are in the water molecules that are pushing and moving that water up through tiny, tiny columns in the plant. Okay? So let's take a look at our experiments and see what's going on. All right, well look at our star. Look how much bigger it is, okay? It's opening up. So water is moving into tiny holes between the fibers in the toothpick. And remember, toothpicks are made from wood, which is a 
plant material. Um, and as that water is moving, it's pushing on the fibers and our star is opening up. Okay. And let's take a look at our paper towels. Look how colorful they've become. Water is moving up the paper towel. Okay? We tend to think of water and things moving down due to gravity, but there are actually forces pushing water up through the paper towel. Okay? And you can see the yellow side and the red side. Okay? Now our celery sitting here, this experiment can take um, a little bit longer. So I, I put some celery in another cup uh, about 15 or 20 minutes ago. And let's take a look at that piece. The outside is blue, right? I'm going to take a knife and kind of cut the end. Okay. And you can see that it's starting to move up through the actual tubes inside the plant through the fibers. Okay. And that's due to a process called capillary action. That's right. Well, during the fall of the year, many of us are outside looking at trees. We're looking at the beautiful leaves as they're changing colors. Okay? And I hope this week when you're outside looking at those beautiful trees, you'll take time to say thank you, capillary action, for giving those uh, tree leaves a drink of water, moving it from the roots uh, in the soil all the way to the top of the trees. Okay? Well, thanks for joining me for this library short, and I hope I'll see you again next month um, for another science library short, and I hope you enjoy all the programs we have this week um, with the Arrowhead Library System. Thanks. Bye-bye.